so as you guys know ragnar prime was revealed the other day and it left a lot of people sort of confused myself included because historically we've only seen prime commanders come out for existing epic commanders and prime commanders have been around since like 2021 so there's been like a three-year precedent that has been set with prime commanders that people have come to understand it is an upgrade from epic commanders to legendary and that signifies to be the prime of their career in the case of like Joan of Arc and in the case of CPO Africanus and in the case of Belisarius and in Herman's case like these are all commanders that you know are relevant historically and they were kind of left as epic commanders and so the way that rise of kingdom solved this is by introducing the prime feature and saying like hey here's that same commander that you know and love but we're going to call this the prime of their life it symbolizes the part of their life where they contributed the most to history and it's also been understood that the museum system with the unlockable relics is how the developers go ahead and buff some of the older legendaries that are in the game that people might not be using so much near the end game and again this has been around for a very long time this has historically been a pretty popular feature especially when it first came out over time as the coins have gotten harder and harder to get i think players have gotten less interested in this mechanic and in the in this feature because it's not it doesn't you know typically make commanders meta again i think some of these are decent relics some aren't in the case of like alexander the great for example a great relic double relic everybody loves it but historically this seems to be the way that the developers would be buffing legendary commanders but here comes ragnar prime throwing an absolute wrench into our understanding of the way that we can be getting prime commanders and how legendaries will be upgraded moving forward so today we're going to address some of the questions that i have about legendary prime commanders and then later in the video we're going to go over some legendary commanders that i think need to get a prime version desperately but first what's going on guys cheers that's right this is a prime does that mean that i can relate to the zoomers now this is apparently the wwe flavor and it's horrible it's like actually disgusting it tastes like a melted tootsie pop and i mean that in the worst way before we jump in consider dropping a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel and subscribe if you want more rise of kingdoms content okay now the first question that i actually asked support uh and i asked them this morning and they got back to me really quickly i asked them will the relic work on ragnar for ragnar prime and you know this might sound like a stupid question right because it's like omniarch look like it's i mean the it's this it's the picture of gold key ragnar okay surely it's not going to work for for ragnar prime but here's the thing um i mean the rules say that the relics work for certain commanders and it says relics will give their corresponding commanders a special boost provided that the commander's exhibit is also unlocked. So they're corresponding commanders. And at the time of recording this video, we actually don't know if it would in theory work on a prime commander because there are no prime commanders here. It's not like any of these commanders have an, a corresponding epic version, right? And so we could test like, oh, does this work on, you know, epic CPO? Like when CPO prime gets a relic eventually, maybe, uh, will it work on epic CPO as well? Right? I, I doubt it. But in that case, it's pretty clear because they're different rarities of commanders, I guess. But if you look at the differences in prime commanders here, when it comes to how they're displayed in the game, it's really not that different. Like this commander, CPO prime is actually just called CPO Africanus in, in the game. He's not called CPO prime. He's simply CPO Africanus and in the epic version he's also called cpo africanus right so technically they're the same commander there just doesn't exist a relic for cpo prime yet uh and so we don't know if it would work for the epic i doubt that it would but in this case we're talking about literally ragnar lodbrok who is going to have the same exact name and he will have the same exact rarity as his his gold key counterpart and so ragnar from the gold keys and ragnar prime i think it's a perfectly legitimate question like i don't think when they developed ragnar's relic they thought that they would be adding ragnar prime in the future right i i don't think that they thought that so it now has to be clarified will this buff actually work for ragnar prime or not 
if it will then it's going to be insane because this is a really good this is just a this is an extra skills worth of stats for sure like straight away this is just a good extra skill it's like having a fifth or I guess technically a sixth skill on Ragnar Prime so I reached out to support and I asked them straight up I'm like is the relic gonna work and they said that they don't know yet like they have to wait until it's in the game so that that's not like an immediate no right you would think that a question this simple you would think that like I mean to me right like my knee-jerk reaction is like surely it's not gonna work right like surely it won't that wouldn't make any sense like they'd have to balance around it and whatever uh like surely it won't work so my my expectation was for them to just be like oh no it's just for the gold key commander but that's not what they said they said we don't know like we're gonna wait and see when it comes to the game and the support that I speak with like they have direct contact with the developers and everything like that so it's like if they don't know that doesn't mean that it will right but what it indicates to me is that maybe maybe and again this is just my I'm just guessing maybe the devs considered it maybe they were just like hey what if we make the relic work like that would be kind of cool right and it would give you an incentive to buy it like for me I don't I'm not spending for this like there's no point because Ragnar is trash but if it works for the prime and the prime is half decent on his own then like dang 15 percent normal damage taken reduction and troop defense let's go now the next question that I have about prime commanders is will it change how gold keys work because we know that prime Ragnar is only going to be available in season of conquest whereas regular Ragnar is available in all kingdoms at all times because he's in the gold keys wouldn't it be cool if they actually when you hit season of conquest they just replaced gold key Ragnar with Ragnar Prime and then you would just any time that you would normally get Ragnar sculptures from the gold keys you would instead get the prime sculptures right I think that would be a really cool implementation I doubt that they'll do it and the other problem with that is that if you then replaced Ragnar with Ragnar Prime then you would have no way of getting original Ragnar except for like using universals or through like the daily special offer right you'd be able to go in and like buy Ragnar here but besides that I mean that that would be I guess a downside but like really who would want the original Ragnar anyway if their choice was between him and Ragnar Prime you're gonna pick the better commander and I imagine Ragnar Prime will be better in all ways so there's an opportunity right there uh, I think for the devs to make a really cool change and that would also make gold keys like valuable again right like for me I I've got a lot of these commanders expertise already like literally the top three rows the uh, these quote-unquote original commanders uh, I have all them expertise already I also have Mulan expertise as well so really just the the new civilizations that have been added I don't have them expertise yet but like I don't really care right I don't care about that and then the rest of the stuff in here is just like I mean you can't even get gold from gold keys right like what, what is that is a golden chest with no gold in it like come on man anyway yeah it's just like there's and and like we have speed ups here that aren't universal so gold keys to me like are, aren't that valuable um and so like it would be cool if they if they switched Ragnar to Ragnar Prime and then it's like okay well suddenly these 1100 gold keys I can open them all and I can get possibly a good commander again which is cool like as an older player I haven't gotten a good commander from a gold chest ever because by the time I got them expertise they were no longer meta so those are two questions that I personally have about um you know how we're gonna get the prime commanders and if is the relic gonna work for them but next let's talk about you know if we have Ragnar Prime and Ragnar is a legendary then we know that okay well that opens up the floodgates now any legendary commander could get a prime version right so let's talk about some commanders that need it and I think you don't have to go very far I think if you go to my video and you look at the worst commanders in rise of kingdoms I made that video very recently then what you'll see is that all the commanders are leadership commanders and I think that one of the things that has changed over the years is sort of the developers philosophy when it comes to leadership commanders right I think that leadership made sense when the game came out and now that the game is is sort of evolved and and like there's the meta has been established and all this other stuff there's really no room for leadership commanders really right I mean you know here and there you might have like a Trajan for example or like maybe Honda as a secondary or or um Mehmed right but besides that like you're really not using leadership anymore and even like I mean maybe for a city garrison but that doesn't happen people don't like people barely ever take city rallies and so yeah we have Hera and Lapu Lapu I think that's fine but again like that's such a niche thing doesn't really matter and so if you look at these commanders and you say okay well clearly 
Julius Caesar, in my mind, is like top of the list for legendaries that need a prime version, right? Because he is one of the oldest commanders in the game. I think in the game files, he's like literally like hero number one or something like that. Like he, he's one of the first heroes ever. Not that I've ever gone through the game files. Of course, I would never do that. Um. Anyway, uh, yeah, I just checked. He is hero number one. That's that is amazing. Hero number two is a barbarian. So like Caesar was put in as hero one before barbs were even a thing. Okay, so for Caesar to be so important historically and for the developers to recognize his importance by making him like the first commander that they ever put into the game he's one of the worst in the whole game and they tried to make him better by giving him a ton of all damage and march speed on his relic and that just didn't really move the needle at all right because the rest of his kit was so bad and so like julius caesar to my like for me is number one on the list of commanders that need a prime version okay number two on that list is actually Lu Bu. i think Lu Bu historically like as a chinese general was so iconic right that he's made his way into games like dynasty warriors 9 like Lu Bu is historically very significant and unfortunately he came into the game as a sort of promotional tie-in which kind of doomed him to obscurity from day one and so you know and now I don't think they can do anything about that because he is tied to the Dynasty Warrior 9 IP and I doubt that Rise of Kingdoms has the right or the license to you know change anything with this at all like this is their design it's in the game it's done the promotion and campaign with them is over and so they probably can't do anything with this anymore which is also why you can't buy it anymore right you can't spend money on Lubu because that collaboration is over right so for me what I think that they would do is they could add a Lubu Prime and what they would do is change the design completely to make it look nothing like this Lubu from Dynasty Warriors right like they would make it look completely different to avoid any sort of like legal issues or anything like that but they would introduce Lubu Prime and make him meta make him good make him strong make him as good as he should be given how historically significant he seems to be in Chinese as a Chinese general right and I'm not trying I don't know that much about Lubu historically but from all games and Chinese media that I've seen he seems like he's pretty significant so I think you know for a commander that is so bad in the game and who is also so historically significant he is a prime candidate for prime treatment and alongside him is Cao Cao right uh now this is not as big of a deal right I think Cao Cao still has some viability not necessarily in the end game from like a pvp perspective but he is still used in pve content he does have the mobility tree so he's very fast you can make the argument that he's usable from you know in that regard and he's also pretty good in or the early game right kvk1 and things like that if you did end up putting more sculptures into him but he's not great right he's not great by any means um and even with the relic you know his damage factor is not super high he's just like his stats are mid like i, I don't know there's there's like a deep off on his expertise like what so yeah i think Cao Cao, you know historically is significant he's literally the mascot of the game like he is when you open when you look at the icon on your phone you look at Cao Cao, right like he is the mascot for rise of kingdoms and so the fact that he's bad at end game like he's not meta that's kind of disappointing right so i think it's Cao Cao prime is definitely a commander that we could see and probably should see for the legacy of Cao Cao himself next i want to talk about cleopatra i feel like cleopatra is such a significant historical figure and yet she's doomed to just be like a crummy gatherer legendary like she's she did, like there's no fighting capabilities in her at all and even at, from a gathering perspective like yeah she's great as a gatherer but she's good at gathering stone which isn't even like like Sunduk has at least a gold gathering speed right with like a really good expertise um you know Cleopatra's expertise is good but it's not as good as Sunduk's in my opinion and so the fact that she's doomed to just be like what the second best gatherer in the game she'll never see any PvE environment is like a bummer right I feel like there's like whole shows and documentaries that are based around Egypt and Cleopatra and you just have her being not good right I think imagine Cleopatra Prime coming into the game and she pops off like Jonah of arc prime i think that would be so cool i would love to see cleopatra just be an absolute menace on the battlefield like you could have her with like look you have the snake up top here you could have like the serpents and like it she could be so cool and we could see her in a whole new light right like we don't even think about cleopatra anymore right in rise of kingdoms i don't think about cleopatra whatsoever 
but if she had a prime version where she was like a badass and she was like dominant and popped off that would be really cool in my opinion and maybe i just want to see more egyptian commanders be meta because i loved Yu-Gi-Oh growing up and like i think i want I, I don't know i just want that charlemagne is another one right like again i talked in my video where i talked about the worst commanders in the game charlemagne always ends up on that list and it's a bummer because charlemagne is very well known historically like he is one of the first things that you think of when you think of like historical figures from France right and so like the fact that he's so bad like embarrassingly bad that's a bummer and it he should be cool I want I want to see a grandpa I want him to be like the Gandalf or the Dumbledore that he looks like he could be right like I want him to pop off as a grandpa and uh he just ain't doing it as a as a legendary as it is and there's really nothing they could do with his relic to make to get him there so let's see a Charlemagne Prime next let's talk about Barca um again another old leadership legendary let's see a Prime I think Hannibal Barca like historically again very significant figure and very insignificant in rise of kingdoms this is a slam dunk it would make sense i think a lot of people like hannibal barca but he's just not it like they just didn't do it they didn't do him they did him dirty okay they did him dirty and i think a hannibal prime would be sick and then also making it as something that's not locked behind vip uh that would be awesome and then finally the last commander that we need to see as a prime version is sun tzu guys come on we saw them they literally changed how primes work before we even got Sun Tzu Prime and they acknowledged that the community wanted Sun Tzu Prime like one or two years ago in a it was a face-to-face -face with the developers I'm pretty sure they basically said like they answered the question when is Sun Tzu Prime and they said like hey we know governors are really excited at the possibility of Sun Tzu Prime and they said all epics will get a prime version eventually at least that was their plan at that time I don't know if their plan has changed clearly it has because now they're doing legendary primes but like we should have got Sun Tzu Prime before Ragnar Prime let's be real okay let's be real we should have got Sun Tzu Prime before then um what I think might happen is you know in the future the next key story that maybe they'll do a key story that involves ancient China right and maybe then we see a Sun Tzu Prime I think that would be really cool and then have them implement him in the same way that they're implementing Ragnar Prime perhaps who knows but either way like I mean come on like Lee, Lee, okay I want to do an experiment leave a comment down below if you want Sun Tzu Prime right like let, let, let's just see how people react because I feel like this is the most obvious slam dunk thing that people want so why don't why haven't they made it happen he doesn't even have to be infantry if you don't want right written put him in the game as something else uh hopefully not ranged or a gather or or anything like that but like put, put him as something whether he's going to be a cavalry or archer or whatever I don't really care just put him in the game put him as a leadership commander that like is actually good imagine that like a, a Honda Tadakatsu type of thing except he's not like debuffed by the fact that he has like a horrible rage uh cycle and things like that like rage requirement and things like that that would be ideal in my opinion uh make him like a make him like a Trajan where he like buffs everybody around him or something I don't know but like Honda's kind of cool just uh you know 1350 really had to do to him I don't know man I think they could make leadership commanders good if their skills were good enough um or maybe it's time that they just have to rework the leadership talents maybe they just have to come in here and look at this and be like okay these all need a buff or something because it's just not working out I don't know but really I think Ragnar Prime is the new direction of leadership commanders right where you put him with as secondary with a special accessory in a certain kvk and then boom he buffs all troop types that's i think probably the future of open field leadership he won't actually be leadership he'll be you know infantry or whatever now the final thing i want to talk about here and again this is all speculation i have not been told anything this didn't come from anywhere i'm just merely speculating out of my own mind okay um if we saw epic commanders get a prime and their rarity increased from epic to legendary what if Ragnar when he gets his prime bumps up his rarity again from legendary to something new uh that would be very scary um I I hope they don't do that I they didn't say they were doing that they didn't hint that they were doing that but like I am just trying to think of you know Ragnar is already legendary so why would they put Ragnar Prime also as a legendary? It just doesn't make sense to me if he is in theory, you know, as a prime, if he's supposed to be better then you would expect him to be in a whole different class as regular Ragnar, right? And that is the case with, for example, Joan of Arc and Herman, you know, their regular levels are epic levels 
and then their prime versions are legendary and so if the regular level of Ragnar is legendary then you would expect the prime version to be mythical or something beyond legendary right um is it possible Ragnar prime could be the first commander of a new rarity of commanders I doubt it I think we would have heard something about it by now I, I I don't think the community would really like that I think legendary commanders are already like pretty hard to get and pretty hard to expertise as it is so I don't think they would do that I don't think the community wants that and I don't I don't want that either but like I'm just trying to wrap my head around why they're releasing a legendary as a prime I mean I mean I get that he needs it right like I get that he needs to like Ragnar is not good in the game and people love Ragnar and so having that as prime is great but like I don't know it just seems a little bit out of place for me I'm still trying to wrap my hand around it I can't wait to find out more information about Ragnar Prime hopefully they don't release it this weekend because I am going to be moving to a new apartment I don't know if you can tell there's like packing boxes here the rest of my room my closet's all empty like this shelf is like the last thing and my computer that I really have to pack up right and obviously I'm doing that last because this is my job and this needs to be functional at all times but yeah hopefully we get more information about Ragnar Prime soon I really want to know what his stats look like I really want to know how we're going to get him I obviously you know I talked about in my most recent video more information we know about him and it's not going to be from the wheel or my Deus governor if you want more information watch that video but uh yeah still a lot of questions here and now that they've blown the gate wide open with primes I really hope we see some of the primes that I talked about in this video because they desperately need it and imagine how cool it would be if you know for legendaries if they incorporate legendary prime commanders with the key story every year imagine again a a sort of Roman style key story where Julius Caesar is the protagonist and he's like super good in that story I think that would be awesome same thing again with Lu Bu if you put Lu Bu as the face of like this new ancient Chinese story I think that would be super cool right there's an awesome opportunity here I'm almost sad that we're only going to get one key story a year right like this is very exciting the cinematic that they released for for Ragnar Prime was awesome right these are the like levels of hype that I wanted back around like June or July right like whenever they release a new civilization there's like a bunch of like cinematics and promotional stuff and all this other things like that's what they're doing with Ragnar Prime and that's what I love and I can't wait to see what they do next and it just stinks that we're gonna have to wait probably a year until we know what the next key story is whether it's gonna be ancient Rome or ancient China or ancient Greece or something like that either way I'm excited but I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below do you think that legendaries should get prime versions I mean obviously it's happening regardless but let me know what you think about that what commanders do you think should get the prime rework that you would love to see become a little bit more meta viable I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below and while you're down there drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time I upload a rise of kingdoms video with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace